Good morning, everyone. It's 6.15 a.m. and it's time to wake up the neighbors. So yeah, turn it on. Nothing too loud. Sounds just right for an SUV. the louder one between the two. That's good, right? As you guys know, we're the Tech Art Germany distributors here in the Philippines and we're gonna showcase in this episode two of our latest Tech Art builds. So we have here a 992 Carrera S in black and 2021 Macan in silver. I'll show you all the mods that we did to this car and yeah, I'll do our usual walk around. Let's check it out. the 2021 Macan base model. Porsche Philippines never offered the Macan S variant. So it has a 2-liter 4-cylinder turbo engine which is producing 261 horsepower. We tuned it with MC chip so it's producing around 60 to 80 horsepower more. So it's almost close as the Macan S level. It's nice to know that even if you have a Macan base model, you have the Macan S power. This is producing almost 300 plus, so it's pretty good. We've done a Macan review already before, but this is the present model. This is the latest model. So the difference is the infotainment. It has a 13-inch display, Apple CarPlay. Well, I'm not connected, but you can see the roads. It's all touchscreen, and I think this is a day and night improvement uh, comparing to, to the older Macan because the older Macan infotainment sucks. Also, I think the button and the build quality is always premium when it comes to Porsches, all the buttons. I like it. In the 992, there's no physical buttons already. They change it up. But this has the older style. It's actually nice, but it looks a bit dated, in my opinion, because this has been the layout of Porsche ever since. So it's time to upgrade it, in my opinion, to make it more modern. We've installed the extended paddle shifters because the paddle shifters are so small. We extended it a bit. Did you see all this stitching? Red stitching, then the red interior, black on red. It's one of my favorites. I've said it so many times in the channel. I like this combo. It's funny that uh, the owner, when he was buying this car, he ordered all the parts already for the car. Believe it or not, he hasn't gotten his car, but he ordered the whole tech art lineup. He's a first time customer of mine. It's the first time he's modifying a car. This is the most modified ever. And I love it. Like, I love the look of this car with the low stance because of the lowering air module that we, we've installed from TechArt. I love the wide body arches that's from TechArt as well. The car drives actually like a sports sedan. It, it's so easy to drive. We've installed the TechArt exhaust on this car. Nothing too loud as I always say in the channel, I never like loud SUVs. There's no point to it, guys. I mean, you can make a sports car or an exotic loud, but please don't make an SUV so loud that it's not comfy to drive. There's no point. SUVs are not designed to be noisy and not really designed to be super sporty. So 
Yeah, a little sound is okay. So yeah, I'll, I'll do a pull. Like that? It produces that sound when, when I shift up. It's nice, right? Like a semi burble sound. This is not running on down pipes or anything, it's just an exhaust. So it sounds it sounds aggressive, it sounds angry as well, but it's not crazy. You can hear the turbo as well because we we tuned it. <laughs> every time I pre press, uh, every time I pull this paddle, it produces that sound. It's not super fast, but I mean, it gets the job done. It's a Macan, and it's sporty. It actually drives like a sedan, so I like it because it doesn't drive like an SUV. So it's lower because of the Tech Art Air module that we've installed. The ride comfort is really, really good. In my opinion, even if it's running 22s, this is the biggest setup that you can do on a Macan. 22 inch, then lowered it. I like the seats. It's really, really comfy. I always tell my customers that one of my priority is the brakes and the safety. So yeah, as much as possible, if they have the budget to do big brake kit, I always suggest it. Always go for it because, oh, actually, I can tell you a story. One client of mine just installed a big brake kit on his Lexus. So we just installed this like a week before his call. Literally, he was inches away from the car in front of him. He slammed on the brakes, the big brake kit worked, and it saved him. It's taking me for convincing him to buy that big brake kit because he didn't want anything on his car. We're gonna drive now to the shoot location and I'll tell you more about the exterior modifications that we did on this car. Uh, it's mostly all exterior. So yeah, let's go to the photo shoot location. See you guys. This is a full tech art Macan build. This is the latest version of the Macan and it has all the tech art parts. Mainly, see the front spoiler from tech art. Looks so aggressive and so nice in my opinion. Painted body color to match it. This is sporting the tech art badge as well. Also, what makes this stand out from the rest is this wide body wheel arch from Tech Art. It makes it wider, it's around 20 mm, maybe 30 mm at the back. Then we've lowered it with the Tech Art lowering module. 22 inch Tech Art formula wheels, finished in polish and gunmetal. So it's bicolor, they call it bicolor because it's a two tone finish. And it has a 295 30 22 Continental tires. So this is a park height right now. It's very, very low. You can engage the normal driving height by pressing unlock button. And I'll start it. Just stay there. I'll show you guys how the Tech Art lowering module works. So when you open this and we, when you turn on the engine, it goes up. So it goes up automatically. Then if you want to do a park lowered height, just turn it off, go outside the car, then press lock, and you'll see. Huh, it's, it's going low, low, it's, yeah, yeah, see? I love the park height of this, so we're filming park height right now, yeah. So these are from Tech Art, the wheel arch, very well designed and well thought of. This is the turbo variant side mirrors. This is not a stock Macan side mirror. This is the turbo variant. It has a hole here 
looks way way better and sportier in my opinion we've changed this we've upgraded it then it's sporting the tech art side skirts as well this is black stock but we've painted it body color to make it look bigger it's nicer in my opinion don't you think guys comment in the comment section below if you like what we did to this with this body color painting wheel arch continues here this is from tech art as well same specs of the wheels and tires because this is an SUV. This is a Tech Art roof spoiler. Looks really, really good. Then this is a Tech Art boot lid spoiler. Just to accent everything. Then the Tech Art logo. I like this. Somehow all the Tech Art badges now are transparent. Then the rear diffusers from Tech Art, we've made it just matte black to make it nice then the tech art quad exhaust system polished just like the the wheels so the combination is like black silver and polish looks decent and really good looking in my opinion we've done a couple of 992 Carrera S. We've done one in matte black, we've done in silver, and this is a glossy black. This is sporting tech art badge. As the owner wanted a full tech art setup, we've installed the front spoiler from tech art. This has so many pieces this piece, this piece. We've made this part matte black. So we've played a little bit of the finishes because yeah it's black I don't want it all gloss black we've done this in um, satin black and you'll see in the side skirt we've done it satin black in the rear diffuser satin black just to accent it so this is from tech art as well this air free looks nicer in my opinion but you notice it's super low because this is running on tech art springs we're gonna install, as mentioned, a front lift kit for this car from TechArt as well. But for now, it's not yet installed. So yeah, it's really, really low. It's just almost a finger gap. And I like it, not complaining. This is a TechArt piece as well. TechArt air outlet grill, they call it. it. Looks nice. But the main feature, I think, and I do believe, is this TechArt Daytona rims. Staggered setup. 20 inch at the front, 21 inch at the back. This measures 245, 35, 20s. Continental tires. The Daytona wheels look so nice, in my opinion. Nothing looks like this. So you think, guys? I love it. Also, this color is a special gold. I asked Tech Art to make us very special gold color finish, and I love it. Comment in the comment section below if you like it. Would love to hear from you guys. This is a tech art part as well. We've done this in gloss black and we've accented it with matte black. This side skirt. I love this design because it continues all the way there. Also, this is sporting a tech art carbon side mirror. Sport mirrors from tech art. Looks so nice. They actually, while we're ordering this kit, they haven't actually offered a full carbon fiber kit from uh, for this variant, the 992S. They just mentioned that they are releasing a carbon version for this car to match with the side mirrors. So yeah, I'm planning to tell the owner to change it up next year or, or maybe it's just create another Carrera S with all the new carbon parts from TechArt. This is... Tech Art Daytona wheels again. This measures 305, 30, 21. You can actually run a 21 and a 22 setup for this car. But the owner is living outside Metro Manila. The road conditions are kind of bad. So he told me he wants more meat. So if you want more meat and a very comfy ride, just change the wheels to 20, 21. You can even use the stock tires. This is running Pirelli tires. Also, one of the best features of this car is this Tech Art rear spoiler too. This is the more aggressive version. It looks so nice, especially with this clear 
acrylic stand. From TechArt as well, the whole boot lid, the roof spoiler is TechArt as well. I love this car. Then, we've installed the rear diffuser. As mentioned, we've done the, the front matte, the side matte, and this is the matte diffuser's fins. We can just play around with the finishes because it's black. If this is colored like blue or red or white, you can accent it with black, gloss black or matte black color. But for a black car, you can only do so much, right? Also, this is running on Klein Innovation exhaust system. This is the carbon fiber tips from them. Looks so nice, sounds so nice. Also, a tech art badge for the rear. Basically, it's a full Tech Art 992 build. I love it. Share your thoughts in the comment section. the 992 Carrera S. It has a 3.0 liter twin turbo, 446 horsepower. It's pretty fast for a base model car. It's actually faster now because we tuned it. Now producing almost 550, 570 horsepower because of the MC chip that we did. Stage 2, meaning it has a D-cut pipe, so it's running Klein Innovation uh, manifolds, Klein Innovation D-cut, Klein Innovation race exhaust, so it's all Klein Innovation exhaust system. Manifold gave us around 20 horsepower, then the chip gave us another, let's say, 80 to 100 horsepower. Also, the PDK of this car, 8-speed, is very snappy and very responsive. I'm in the sport mode now. I'll put it in Sports Plus for you guys. It's very, very responsive. But the downshifts are way quicker. See? Double. <laughs> you know, this launches really, really good from a dig. <laughs> it's fast off the line. So this is a Carrera S, so it's a rear-wheel drive car. It feels actually faster because it's more fun to drive. Normally, you don't really hear the spool of the turbos because of the exhaust restrictions. But this one, we boost it up, plus we installed Klein manifolds and DCAT, so you really hear the turbo spool. It's so easy to drive this fast. The weight of the car is at the back because of the engine, so it actually helps this car to launch really fast off the line. Porsche is known for being a stable car anyway, so easy to drive as well. Actually, this is the most practical sports car, supercar that you can buy right now, to be honest. It's very comfy, roomy. I'm not gonna go into details because we have done so many Carrera S reviews. Before, we've done Capristo, Akrapovic, Tech Art, we've done so many. But for this setup, the Klein Innovation, I think this is my personal favorite. Don't you agree, GM? I can say it again and again. It's a very easy, easy car to drive. Not too light, not too heavy, but very direct. The steering feel and the steering response of the 992s is perfect. I have no complaints on this. It's running on tech cart lowering springs right now. I'm just waiting for the front lift to arrive, then I'll install it, then I'll ship this car to the back to the owner. So I'm pretty excited for him to try our newly tuned 992 Carrera S. So that's about it for the two TechArt cars that we've featured for this episode. 
Do you like the 992 over the Macan or do you like the Macan over the 992? Comment in the comment section below. Like, subscribe, share if you like this video. See you guys on the next.